All right, so now we're gonna make a jig. That way the holes on the edge are exactly 10 millimeters away. Okay, so it doesn't matter where on this frame or on this base that they are, right? They could be five of them, they could be 20 of them. As long as they're 10 millimeters away from the edge, they'll fit in the center of the 20 millimeter extrusion. So to do that, I like to use a, a mounted press here. And I want to be about 10 millimeters from the edge, right? Again, I use an oversized drill. So it's an M5 screw going through a 6.35 millimeter piece. And that's not quite right. It needs to come forward a little bit. Okay, so that's about right. It's about 10 millimeters from the edge. I'm going to tighten these up. Okay. And then I'm going to test it out. Okay. And just a little speck. I don't need to go all the way through. It's a lot easier to measure from the center of a speck than it is to measure from the center of a big old gouge. So as I can see, that's about 14 millimeters away. So there's still a bit of movement I need to do. So I'm gonna magically slap it here. Maybe. About four millimeters this way. Let's give that a try. Okay, do it again. It's a lot closer there to that 10 millimeters. And we are about eight and a half millimeters away. Okay, so very close. Okay, lightly loosen. Give that a try. Okay, so. Ooh, that's close. That's about nine. I need to slap it a little harder, it looks like. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. And that is so close. <laughs> Tiny bit over, about half a millimeter over. Okay, scooch it in just a little bit. Let's see how that works. Okay. And that is perfect. Or just about perfect. <laughs> It'll be good enough for this drill. Cool. Start on that, that 10 millimeter mark. Okay. So before I get too far, I'm going to be banging this heavy thing into this. So make sure to really ream this, this thing down here. Okay, that way as you slap it against it, you don't move it. And I'm only gonna be doing one side on camera. I'll do the rest off camera. I'm sure you can figure out off watching one side how it's, how it's done. Okay, it goes on. Take my piece here. Oh. Let's do it from this side. There we go. Okay. And then make sure it's laying flat on the surface here. Okay, I'm gonna do the corner first, corner-ish. There we go. Okay, it's pushing good against that. All right, got one hole. I think I'll do three holes on this side. You can do as many as you want, but I'll do three. There we go. And one more close to the back. A little closer to the back. There we go. Alright. And since I'm on a roll, I think I'm going to do one more side. Now, the back side, the rail comes all the way to the edge, so I can get really close to the edge here. Let's see, get it flat on that block. There we go. And 
make sure you don't have stuff in there or else you're not going to be 10 millimeters from the edge. Okay, looks like we're doing six on the back. <laughs> off camera because I hope by now that you have it. Thanks for watching.